So this video is going to be a lot similar to our previous video episode about observable.defer and if you haven't watched our previous video episode yet then you can watch from the card or the links from the description of this video. Namaste everyone, in this video episode we will be creating another observable using factory method. So we are not going to waste time and jump right into our screen. So let's create an integer observable first using observable.just. And we have written a method here which just return the value of 3 into 5 as you can see here. It also prints this generating value text to the console before returning the value. So without adding any subscriber, let's run now. And there we go, it prints generating value to the console. Instead of executing this method immediately, is there any way to do it like lazy manner? Like whenever its observers will ask for items, then it will execute the method and accept that there is a huge problem. Let's see what is it. But before that, add the observer. Print whatever comes on on next. And also print the error if there is any. Say an exception occurred. Now change the return value of this method to 1 by 0. We all know that there is going to be an arithmetic exception. Now you might think that we are handling the error in here so our program is not going to crash. So let's run and check. Whoa, it crashes with the exception instead of going to the on error here. Now to avoid this issue, we can use observable.fromCallable. Just replace the just with fromCallable here. And as you can see that it takes an instance of callable interface like our observable.error and observable.defer. So use the lambda to return an integer. But before that, let's add a print statement, say calling method, and then run. And there we go, it prints calling method, then generating output, and then exception occurred with the proper exception. So what exactly happens here? It generates or in our case, call the method in a lazy or deferred way, that means just before publishing the data to its observers, it calls the method. That means this execution is going to happen just before the value reaches to the observer. And for every observer, this method is going to be called from here just like defer. This way, it does not throw the exception as we get in Java, but instead it goes through on error. We already know this by this output here. So I hope you understand callable. And if you still have any doubt, then you can message me on any of my social handles or you can comment below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell icon so that you don't miss our videos that we upload every Sunday. It's me to here signing off. Thank you for stopping by. See you next Sunday.